The mission from day one was to create a really exciting car. No excuses on package, no excuses on technology and connectivity. A car that you walk out of your front door in the morning and wow. Jaguar E-Pace is a very agile, compact sports car. It's in an engineer's nature to always want to do better. So we always thought, how do we better the F-Pace loop, which was spectacular? The next natural evolution was, let's let the car leave the ground, where many teams might have said, why would you do that? I'm really proud of our team that they said, why wouldn't you? With our suspension design, getting a car to go into a barrel roll is near on impossible. And then once the car was in the air, how do we stop from setting off airbags, from cutting the fuel? How do we get the vehicle not to nosedive? The way the car lands, the friction of the ramp, it's going to be different from one test to the next. Funnily enough, we, we haven't simulated many barrel rolls in our history. The car is not designed to do this. We're at risk of breaking the lower control arms. If you're ever going to do a Jaguar that's different, it's this one. This stunt is massive. It is not an easy stunt. If it was an easy stunt, many other people before me would have done it. We're trying to jump a distance, we're trying to spin, we're trying to land. This stunt has never been done before in a production car on this scale. If we manage to do it, it's going to be an amazing world record.